Hello, my name is Joe, and what we're going to be looking at is how to set up culling inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you found this useful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell as it really helps me understand what people are enjoying and what they're not. So, what we've got here is a very basic scene, um, and I've just duplicated these tables um, here. So, if you hit five, uh, G on the keyboard, um, you can see here it brings all these. Uh, lighting um, sort of markers and things like that back and when we hit G they disappear and this enters into essentially game mode so this will apply um, your culling and things like that. As you can see there's nothing here at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll go up to uh, our little box with the plus sign here, drop down and then just start typing cull and select the cull distance volume and this is going to bring in this box here. Now what I generally do is I set all of these values to 0, 0, 0. Um, so this always makes sure this is at the origin. Now what we want to do is then go to, with our culling volume selected, go to our brush settings, not the scale, and we're going to set this, say, to 2,000, 2,000, oops, 200, and 1,000. So basically we want to encompass this scene with it, uh, the box uh, encompasses everything inside this. Um, so let's just go a bit bigger. So as you can see here, our scene is now sat inside this box. So <clears throat> currently nothing is happening. So again, with our scene, uh, our sorry, color distance volume still selected. Um, what I like to do is I hit G on the keyboard so we can see what's happening. And back over the right hand side in the details panel, we want to drop down color distances. Now there's two here by default, and this will give you an example. So this is. Um, Basically, it calculates the size of the object within a scene and how much to cull it by. So what we'll do is we'll set this one to 100, and currently it's not culling, there's no culling distance at all. So again, what we'll do is we'll type in, say, 500. So straight away there, you can see it's disappeared, and as I come closer, it's uh, appearing. So obviously, that's a bit too brutal. Um, then what we can do is we can set this one to, say, uh, 2,000. And you can see that that's not having any effect. So that usually means that this is too big. And you can see that, right? So now, uh, this is a bit of a difficult one. Personally, I found is figuring out what works, what doesn't. And it really is a matter of trial and error. So the, what it's basically saying here, that's anything that's like this size, I assume in units, um, is targeted the floor in this case. You can see here, the floor doesn't disappear until we pull right back. And um, so, we can play about with these values, we can add more in by hitting the, the plus volume here and you can just build these up and up and up and make them into more advanced um, uh, culling volume for your for your scene. There are um, settings online of how to, that you know, preferred settings that people like. Uh, for me personally, I just play about with these values. This, this is your distance, as I say. Currently we've got that set for our chairs. A thousand, say we want to go in closer. You know, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can see what it's doing. Uh, this value, I always find that you need to play about with to find and get the correct size of everything. So this was just a very simple uh, tutorial of how to basically set up the color distance voluming and where you need to go to do things. Um, you can also exclude stuff from the volume. So say we want to exclude this chair here. Um, what we can do is we click on the chair. So we'll just drag back so the chair disappears and we'll scroll down to lots. Uh, where is it? And we can just tick never cull distance. When we do that, the chair will always stay there. No matter how far we go back, it will always stay there. So that's always good something, uh, something good to have in mind if you, say, have a huge set piece uh, that needs to be always seen. You know, if it's a giant castle, so obviously you don't want that culling out suddenly, you know. So that's good to know. So hopefully this has helped. And, yeah, cheers.